Hi, my name is Seti and welcome back to the channel. There's a huge security update coming to Google for education domains and this will impact the way YouTube works for your students. So let's dive into it with another flipped classroom tutorial. Now Google has written a very clear overview of all the new changes that are happening. Now when do these start? Well, they will start the 1st of September 2021. So it's not long off and it's very important that you as a teacher are aware of what is changing. Now if you are a teacher, I would highly recommend that you share this video with the school domains admin so that they are aware of the changes and some of the settings that they will have to apply or change. Now if you're a teacher, it's very important that you know exactly how this will impact yourselves as teachers and also how it will impact your students. Now, the biggest change in this security update is the way that our Google for Education domains work with YouTube. So let's open up the website and look at some key changes. Now, the biggest change is that you now have to identify your users or your students and teachers in your domain as 18 or under. So if they are in the group that is younger than 18, they will lose a lot of features and they won't have access to certain services. Now, if you wanna make sure that your teachers don't lose these features or these apps, you have to make sure that you label your teachers as 18 or older. If you do nothing and no label is applied, then the 1st of September, every user on your school domain will automatically be placed in that under 18 label and then they will also lose access. And then we get a breakdown of the different apps and applications where there will be changes for members or users that are under 18. And the biggest one here is YouTube and that's the one I want to look at today because your users, your students that are under 18 will now have a very different YouTube experience. As you can see here, users in the primary and secondary institutions who are under 18 will no longer be able to create channels. They can't create playlists, stories, shorts, or upload videos. Now this is a huge one. If you forget to assign the correct labels, well then your students will lose everything they have created, their videos, their channel, their playlists. I'm also going to show you how your students can prepare. Simply go to this time or find the timestamp down below to see how you can export your data and how you can get those videos safely off of the channel before the channel is removed. Now the next thing is they won't be able to watch or create live events. Now this is also a very big change. They won't see or be able to post comments and they can't participate in live chats. They will also not be able to buy memberships, create a merchandise, movies, TVs, or any part of YouTube that costs money. They also can't use apps, including YouTube Go, YouTube Music, YouTube Studio, etc. In addition to that, they will lose access to some features such as casting on the TV, connecting game accounts, using incognito mode, personalized ads, and enabling or disabling restricted mode. Now these are all security features. And so if you wanna make sure that your teachers are still able to create a channel, make playlists, share these with their students, make sure that you label your teachers as 18 or over. If you have them automatically defaulted to under 18, all that work, all those videos will be lost. So as you can see, big, big changes to YouTube. Now, what can your students do to prepare? Because we are going to have to label them as under 18, and so therefore they will lose their videos and their channels. Well, they can export that data. Now, I'm gonna show you two ways of doing that. The first, here is my demo YouTube account, is on the YouTube account itself. Now here on the left hand side, your students will go to content and this is where they've always had an overview of all their videos. Now I only have a single demo video on this demo channel and I'm going to download this video before the channel is deleted. So I'm going to hover over this and click on the three dots. This now gives me an option to download that video. As you can see, that video is being downloaded and I now have access to that file. Now this could be some homework or a group project that your students have done. Maybe they uploaded it to their student's school account. As teachers, we can remind them that they will lose access to that account and that they have to download their videos. Now there's a second way of making sure that they get all their data back from Google and that is by using Google Takeout. So they would navigate to the website takeout.google.com and then here they can select everything or deselect everything. I'm going to deselect all and I'm going to scroll all the way down and I am looking for YouTube. 
So I'm going to try and download all my YouTube information. Here you can see my watch and search history, my videos, comments, and other content that was created on YouTube. So I'm going to tick this. Once I've done this, I can now click on next step. You can also see that there are multiple formats because it shows you exactly what information will be downloaded. And you can also select what you don't want to keep. So when I click here on all YouTube data included, I can untick the ones that I do not want to download. Now I assume that most of your students will want to keep their comments, their subscriptions, everything intact. So they will probably leave everything ticked on. We're going to click on okay, and then go to the next step. Once we've done that, they're now going to ask us, how do you want to get this download link? Well, I'm going to export it once and I want a download link either via email or I want it added to my drive. I'm going to select add it to drive. We're going to export it once as a zip file and then we're going to click on create export. It asks me to verify my account. So let's do that now. We're going to verify our demo account and then it will automatically start running. Here you can see export in progress. Now, how long this takes depends on how many videos you have on your YouTube channel. So here we see mine is finished and I can now click on open in drive. This will open up that folder in my Google Drive. And as you can see in that takeout folder, all my archived browser information is there. And then within this, I have my playlists, subscriptions, and my videos, and that demo video is inside that folder. So they don't have to lose all their hard work. You can use Google Takeout, or you can manually download each video from the YouTube channel. Now, if you're a teacher and you wanna make sure that your admin knows what to do, we're now going to jump into the admin side of things. And I'm going to show you how as an admin, you can make sure that you assign your domain users to the correct group over 18 or under 18. So let's jump into an admin demo account. I'm now in my admin console and this is specifically for those Google admins. Now, where does your admin go to assign the correct age restriction that is in your account settings. So we're going to scroll down and find account settings. And I'm going to click on that. Now, if you don't see it on that homepage, you can always go to account on the left hand side and select account settings. Now within our account settings, we are going to have to scroll down all the way down to where it says age based access settings. Now here you can see my demo domain is set to all users are 18 or older. But when I click on that, I can change the settings for each of my subgroups or my organizational units. So you can see here we have demo teachers and we have demo students. So if I was to now change these students, I can click on that group first. I can say some or all users are under the age of 18. Now, because I only use this demo account with teachers, I'm going to leave all the settings to 18 and over. But for your school, your student accounts will have to be changed to under 18. Now, I hope you found this helpful. If you did, make sure that you share this with your colleagues, teachers, admins, anyone who needs to be aware of this, because this will impact your students. Maybe as a parent, you're worried about your children losing all their hard work. Well, this video will hopefully inform the school and teacher of some of these changes. So to summarize, the 1st of September, these changes will take effect. If nothing is done, every user on a domain will be set to under 18, which means they will lose access to various features such as creating YouTube channels, adding playlists, or any of the commenting functionality. Now, this will not impact the students if they are using their own personal accounts. However, school accounts, these are the new security features. Now, I hope you've enjoyed this video. In the meantime, thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one.